So I'm in my new room and I'm about to go through all this stuff back here and like tables like this I'm not keeping. So I think I'm gonna move that over to the corner and put all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of on that table. That way I can bring more of my stuff over because some of my kids brought some stuff over with me. So we're gonna try and get some stuff cleared out of here and some stuff moved in here and I have two hours to do it. So let's do it. I just got all of their stuff put over into that corner so I'm gonna write a note that says to relocate to the new resource room but the new resource room there's a teacher that has to move out still so I don't know when they're gonna get that stuff transferred but all of that plus this big table I don't want um, but I know they're using that big table for summer school so I'll leave it in here for now and I'll just move it before we leave but yeah I'm definitely gonna have to like I mean, I have to see if they're gonna clean the walls, but when I come back for teacher work day, like I'm gonna have to clean some of these walls because they're gross. But we're gonna go ahead and move some stuff. It's already 2.17, so I don't have a ton of time, but I'm gonna move all of my um, like stuff that's going in the drawers. I'm gonna put all of that in the drawers today. So that's the first step. Words. I think I'm gonna leave this up and the teacher next year if they don't want it they can take it down but I think I'm gonna leave this up I'm gonna leave that one up and then the one that's over there <laughs> up on top I'm probably gonna leave that up as well just because it took a lot to put it up and I don't want to take it down but if somebody else wants to take it down that's fine I do need to see this one over here if that will if that's the same size as the bulletin board in my room because if it is then I will just transfer that bulletin board over to the new one um but if it's not then I'll just leave that up as well or I might just leave it up I haven't decided yet um so my plan of putting stuff in cabinets is not really working out because those cabinets I don't know the way I want to organize it is not like coming together in my head so I think tomorrow I'm just going to take the rest of this stuff over there at some point or I might have the kids help me just take stuff over and put it on the back wall now that I have everything moved and maybe they can just help me because I'm kind of regretting waiting until the last week to move stuff because I have a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day, but I will catch you in the next part of this vlog. Good morning. So it is Wednesday. It feels like Tuesday because we had Monday off. So yesterday felt like Monday and today feels like Tuesday, but today is Wednesday. Um, and I am here at summer school. It is 8.05 right now. I have about an hour before I have to get the kids or I have about 50 minutes or so, 45, 50 minutes before I have to go get my kids. So I'm gonna try and get as much out of here as possible. I can't remember if I said this yesterday or not, um, but my plan of putting stuff in the cabinets organized the way I want them to be is probably not going to happen just because a, I don't know how I want my classroom set up. I don't know how I want it run. I want to build a full system and I'm not going to know how that is going to work until the end of the summer once I know like how I'm going to be teaching and the order that I'm going to be teaching and like what I want to be using manipulatives, how I want stuff like laid out in the classroom. So rather than stress myself out about that, I'm just trying to put, I am still trying to keep like like things close by each other and I'm trying to put as much in the cabinets as possible that way I have enough space on the back counter to put like my shelves and stuff like that so they're up and off the floor 
But as far as like, and also there's like some really big stuff that's not gonna get up off the floor or that can't go in the cabinet. Um, and I can't put them on the floor right now because they have to clean the floor and wax the floor. So they have to go on my ca uh, countertop as well. So at this point, the name of the game is get it to the new classroom as organized as possible. Like I'm not just gonna go in there and throw stuff in there and just, Say, so, oh, I'll worry about it later. Like, I'm still trying to keep it like, like things close by each other or as together as possible. But I'm not stressing myself out about this should go here and this should go here. It is kind of just like put it in there. But because I went through and I really organized everything and everything now has its own container and its own home, I'm not that worried about it. Like, I'm not worried about it being a complete mess or me having to redo any of the like organizing of the individual items. It's just going to be oh, this tub can't go here, it needs to go there. Oh, this section of like math manipulatives needs to go there. So I think I did the hard part. Now I just have to get it all over there. So while I have no kids with me, I'm gonna try and get as much over there as possible. And we'll see. I really don't wanna stay till three today because I forgot I have cheer practice tonight. So I wanna leave, even though my meeting starts at one, I was just gonna put it on the iPad and like, drive home and then finish the meeting at home. Um, but I really wanna get home today at like, I wanna be leaving by one. So we'll see if that happens, but yeah. And I might also enlist the help of children today. <laughs> they might be taking down, one of my girls really wants to take down all the black stuff, which is perfect because that took three hours to put up. So I'm gonna let them take that stuff down and like the sides and stuff that are up on the walls and I can have somebody wrap up my light cord for me and I can have somebody take down the border on the whiteboard and I can have somebody go through those books and pull them out because I don't think I'm taking those and just little stuff like that they can do and put it all in a pile for me and then if the teacher that's in my current room isn't going to be in there today then we might take some stuff over or like the last like 10 minutes of class we might like run some stuff over to her to that room if she's okay with it so that's the plan, but I'm wasting time talking. So I already have my cart loaded up. Um, if you saw yesterday, I don't think I ended up showing you, but my plan of putting all the like supplies and stuff that I had and all my paper in those big drawers did not fully work out. I've got all my paper fit in there, but the top drawer and the bottom drawer have like a bar that come down or it's like a piece of the drawer. It comes down just too far and it doesn't close. So I can only use three of the separate, uh, three of the drawers to put like the actual things in, but I kind of improvise. I'll show you guys really quickly when we get in there, but we're moving. So it's almost the end of the day, almost time for me to go. I got all my stuff moved over here. It's not like put away or anything. Some of the cabinets are full of stuff or have some stuff in it, but I'm gonna try tomorrow and Friday in the morning to like come and put like some more stuff in the cabinets just so there's not that much on the countertop. But if it doesn't happen, it's okay. Everything is now in here. So I'm very excited, very happy that it's done um i still have some stuff in my old room so i'll take you over there but yeah this is this is it i'm officially all moved into this room all of my stuff is now back here or in the cabinets or in the drawers and this is my new room It hasn't really hit me yet, that this is my new room. Um, it probably won't hit me until I come back and I don't go into that room anymore. Cause like I'm still in that room, like cleaning it and everything like that. I have to take trash out 
later this afternoon and I just took the last little bit that was still in that room to my car. Um, so it hasn't hit me yet that this is my new room, but new beginnings, new chapters. Hi. Um, okay, so today is Friday. Let me close my door. Hold on. So today is Friday, the 24th. Today is the last day of summer school. Um, and I'm very excited. This was a long three weeks. Well, yeah, long three weeks, but good. I'm really glad that I did it. Um, but today is also the last day in my current classroom. Um, so everything is out. Well, I'm going to go through all the cabinets, all the drawers one more time. One of my summer school boys wrote me that. It is written in Expo marker and colored pencil. Um, but he was like trying to rush and like hide it from me, even though I saw him making it. And then um, I walked out because they were switching classes and I was like, okay guys, time to go. And I thought he was going to bring it to me, but he put it up on my board. It's very sweet. Um, anyway, I am going to walk around. I'm going to check my desk. I'm going to check back there. I'm going to check like cabinets and stuff back there. I don't think I left anything in there, but I'm going to double check. I'm going to check this, the drawers and cabinets in here. And then I'm going to double check the back room to make sure that all of my stuff is out. Um, and then the only other thing that I have to take out is the trash. And the only reason why I'm taking it out is because it's not a lot of stuff and we are very short stopped on maintenance for the summer and they have so much on their plates that I just feel so guilty even asking. So I'm just gonna use the cart that I have, load up all the trash on there and just take it to the dumpster because the dumpster is really close to my room anyway, so. I'm like emotional, but like not emotional. I think I'll be more emotional this afternoon like if I come back in here and see it, but it does not look like, like my classroom anymore. I mean, it still has the bulletin boards up and I'm leaving the bulletin boards up. I did decide to leave that bulletin board up just because the one in my new room is taller and I think it's the same I think it's the same width but it's taller so it's that's not gonna fit so if the if the new teacher wants to take it down they can take it down but I thought that it might be nice to walk in like oh my bulletin boards are done all I have to do is change the border or I like the board I'm gonna keep it so oh I need to take that stuff down though I can't believe it, my first classroom. I'm leaving it. I'm excited, I'm excited to not have a, a science room anymore. I'm excited for something new, but this is marking a very big change in my career um, because everything will be different. Every, like I have to relearn, it's like I'm a first year all over again. Next year is gonna be the first non-COVID year, no restrictions. Um, I'll be a third year, um, so I should kind of know what I'm doing. A lot of my team is going to be different. A lot of the people in the building are going to be different. Um, I'm just going to be teaching one subject, but now I'm teaching honors as well. So there's just a lot of change happening, and this is the first big change. I'm moving rooms. That's insane. Okay, let me double check. It's 8 o'clock now, um, and we I don't have... A ton of time to sit and talk so I'm gonna go ahead and double check that I have everything and then I'm gonna take the trash out and then we'll be done super glad I checked because I forgot about this drawer <laughs> So these are empty. I feel like I might have shown you guys this in my last day of school vlog, but I don't remember. That feels like so long ago. Those are all empty. I'm leaving all of those. Otherwise, this cabinet is empty. I am going to miss like how deep the cabinets are and how deep the these are because my new room doesn't have ones that are this deep. They're like half as deep which is kind of annoying those are empty binders that I'm leaving for the new teacher just some science bingo games otherwise this is empty 
I didn't have a lot of science stuff. Like the, most of my science stuff is this stuff or stuff that came with our books. Like we got like curriculum packs, um, which we couldn't use them for the science that we did, but I don't know if they're gonna get different standards next year or not, or different things that they're doing next year or not. So that's why like most of my stuff is empty because I didn't have that much science stuff. The majority of the stuff in here was math stuff. So, but this is science, so it's staying. My teacher edition books are staying because I'm not using that book anymore. That math, we got new math. And those are the science books, leaving all of this stuff. I mean, it looks a lot better than when I got it, but like, I'm not gonna clear everything out. Those are the, the science books that I didn't use this year, leaving that thing. That was here when I got here and I'm not gonna throw it away because it's too heavy. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is it. Okay, I just went through all the other drawers, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take trash out and then run that box of my desk stuff to my new room. And then I have to take back my, like some electronic stuff that I use for summer school. And then I'll come back in and just grab my stuff. I'm so sad. <laughs> the phone I will listen to you you lay in the sheets you hold on to me like I'm already gone and whisper your words like secrets written in an old moleskin and look up above Sunlight seems like it is gonna break in And something ain't right Yeah, something ain't right Oh, something ain't right Something ain't right You straighten my shirt Wearing the skirt that my mother gave to you I come up behind you And kiss on the side of your neck of fear It's time to go And turn off the lights The stars in the sky are turning so clear And without the words Unheard can still be just as sincere, but something's not right. 